Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you that you set the tone. The attitudes, beliefs, emotions that go on within, they're expressed without. Now, in this reality that we're in, it's easy to get consumed or swept away by the ideas of others. By this, I mean social media. By this, I mean being out in public. By this, I mean whatever one's occupation could be, family, friends, perceived enemies. The 3D world is so loud that it's easy to get swept away. So in finding peace for self, one begins to set the tone for their life. Set the tone for the way they maneuver their moments, their days, the way they're present, or the way they handle not being present. You begin to give yourself the, the grace, the time needed, the forgiveness needed to see who you believe you are and who you have shown yourself to be. This is not me preaching, being on the high horse, uh, telling anybody that morally or ethically they should believe this and believe that. It's not that at all. It's about remembering the power that we do have in our own reality, on our own journey, to be who we desire to be. Doesn't matter what the world says you should be. That's secondhand information. Who do you say you should be? Who is God or your God, whatever you believe in? If there is a guiding force that you feel present, which I'm a firm believer that everybody does feel that force within their life, if you are being guided, what are you being guided to? Step into it. Trust in self. It's not for everyone to understand because I've come to realize for myself at least that usually when I do things that I'm guided towards, most people, if not all people around me, do not understand it. It's only at the end when they can look back and say, that makes sense. But when you're looking for the present moment and you can already see where you're headed, most people won't get it because it's your invention. It's not theirs. That's okay. Because just as it plays out in our reality, when we see others, we see the same thing play out. We don't know where they headed. We might believe we know, we don't know. And it's okay. It's okay. I share this with you from the perspective of knowing that just as much as I give myself grace, it feels a lot better when I can give others their grace. And that doesn't mean I verbally tell them, nah. Sometimes the grace that I give is simply letting someone be, leaving them to be, not letting because I don't control anything that they're doing. I leave them to be as they are. I meet them where they are. And if that's not a place for me, I continue on and I do not make them feel any type of way about where they are. It's not my business. All I can do is genuinely let go and let God. And that's how I tend to approach many things in my life. And it has served me tremendously. But at doing these things in my life, I had to learn to set the tone for my life. From being in the hustle or bustle and moving about a lot and being as busy as I could for the better part of, well, we say 25 years. Man, that's not even me. <laughs> it's not. But the world told me today, this is what it is, or it was uh, implied in certain ways or ways that I was rewarded by man, that this is the way it is. I found peace in myself, embraced that, begin to set my own tone, I begin to see so many different things change in my life. And when they were changing, as they are still now, I would deem this good or bad. 
success or failure. It's none of that. I'm just getting more comfortable each and every moment in setting my own tone. And that's life giving. It's very, um, it's very powerful. And I'm sharing this because I wish that for any and all. Doesn't matter what life looks like to them. It doesn't matter what their vision looks like to them. I wish them the greatest happiness and success, whatever that looks like and feels for them. Because I'm witnessing them use their power in setting the tone of their life. It's beautiful. It truly is. So once again, I've said it a million times during this episode alone, but set your tone. Don't worry about those who judge you. Don't worry about those who support you. Don't worry about either one. Worry about you. You are the one. Set your tone. Be grateful that you're moving towards your vision. It's your vision. It doesn't mean the world has to see it. It doesn't mean anyone else has to validate it. You're doing it all for you. And in this world that is constantly screaming at us, screens, commercials, people talking, videos, all these different things, sometimes it's okay to have a reminder to be still, to relax in who you are, to be tuned into your life, to know what tone you're setting for your life and be at peace with that. Because when you set your tone and that's your home, everything else is merely noise. With these things said, I hope this reaches at least one. And I hope it encourages any and all to set their tone and be willing and doing so. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.